All right, guys. Again, a long time no speak, I guess. Uh, last video would have been just after Christmas, so coming up to two months ago now. Uh, really, no excuse for not doing the videos, other than I've just fallen out of the habit and I've been neglecting YouTube as a whole really recently. I, I don't know why. I've just oh, I can't explain it. It's just not. I just haven't been keeping it on the radar. I've just been interested in other things, I guess, but. Um, I'm hoping to get back into the swing of it again now, so just doing a random out of the blue update I guess, uh, just to explain what's going on, as I said in my last video, possibly even one before, I can't remember, um, see I'm going um again, out of the habit clearly, I haven't spoken to a camera in what feels like the longest time now, but um, as I said in one of my older videos, not doing any more pickup videos, and I'm also retiring from Xbox 360 collecting. The biggest my collection ever was, and ever will be, was 431 retail games. It's a few titles shorter than that now, because I've already started selling them. And the reason for that being, um, I wasn't playing them as much as I'd like to. Well, for one. And I, I was spending 90% of my time buying games and looking at buying games rather than playing them and it just seemed really counterproductive um, the space restraints as well plus I figured out if I sold the majority of my collection I could probably afford a driving licence and the majority of a car and probably even some insurance so you know but that's a bonus that can actually go into something productive in my life however that doesn't mean I'm going to stop playing games at all since I decided to sell my collection I've been playing them a ton what I've been doing is I've been picking one game and one guy game at a time, playing for it, completing it. If I like it, I'm keeping it. If I don't like it, it's being sold. And what I've been doing is I've been recording videos of all the games I'm selling and I'm going to do a little video series called Farewell. Insert game title here. Um, my capture card's pretty naff so the footage I have at the moment is pretty shoddy but it's going to have to do. I'm hoping it will get me back in the swing of things. I've probably sold about 15 titles so far, and that's just, this is across all platforms as well, but I'm going to get to that right now. Um, on all other platforms, rather than picking up tripes that I don't think I'm going to play, um, I don't got into a really bad habit of picking up anything because it was cheap. don't want to do that anymore. I just want a collection of good games that I like and I want to play. Fuck everybody else's opinion. I'm not going to buy a game just because it's highly rated. I mean, I recently sold Shadow of the Colossus because I, I just wasn't getting into it. And that got me more than I paid for it. I paid t like £2 for it. I think I've sold it for about 17 quid. Can't complain with those odds. But, um, yeah, if I like a game, I'm going to keep it. I just want a collection of games that I want to play. Going for a full collection just seems silly. Kudos to anyone who does. And... if. 360 is still going to be a big part of my channel, however if you do want to track someone going for a full Xbox 360, yeah, full Xbox 360 collection, there's a couple of YouTubers out there doing it, um, most notably would be Ready03 and I think he's got to be close to about 300 games by this point, so go over to his channel if you want to see someone going through the really tough endeavour of getting a full Xbox 360 collection. Kudos to him if he does actually finish. He's a bigger man than I was. I, I just bottled out, I guess. But that's that, and that's off my chest. I've been avoiding saying that for a while now, because, well, a bit like that, gauging what the reaction is going to be to it, but it, it's just one of those things. I've decided to do it, that that's how I want to do it, and I'm going to do it like that. Other than that, not a lot has been happening. I've been completing a lot of games, on average one every couple of days, and because of that, my game score has gone through the roof. Now, although a lot of you do not care about game score, but I do in a way. I've started caring about my, my game of percentage, because to me the completion percentage means how much value I'm getting for my money. If I've paid money, I want to get the most out of it I can. If I've got 100% on something, I'll use it entirely. So it just seems logical to me. Um, for all those who are interested, my current game score is 128,414. 
out of a possible 466,960. So it, it's pretty poor considering the size of games I've got, but it's gradually going up and my percentage is only at 31% completion percentage at the moment, which is piss poor. But it takes me around 200 achievements to gain 1%, so that's going up really slowly. Um, by concentrating on getting my percentage up, it's actually making me play my games more as well, meaning they're selling quicker. So it's all good. By me caring about my gamer score, I'm, I'm gaining money, I'm experiencing titles. I mean, it's, it's good all round. The only thing that's bad is for you guys, I guess, if you wanted to see me reach the full collection. But, I mean, let's face it, there was a slim chance that was ever going to happen anyway, because there are titles out there like My Horse and Me 2, which fetch like onwards up to £100 on eBay, which is just absolutely ridiculous. It looks like the preview of this video is lagging now. I've, I tried using my mic again using Debut, and I don't think the software really works that great with my system at least. So I'm going to end the video here, and I'm going to try and get another video up tomorrow and just get back in the swing of things, even if it's just another random update. I might even start doing the whole blogging thing just to get my channel active again. Anyway, cheers guys. See you soon. Enjoy.